we were talking about putting wafer paper directly on a cake, and I've seen a lot of people do this now. It's like it's super easy, and no no decorating ability required. Just slap it on there. Um, but there are a couple of things that you need to remember to do. I'm gonna move this back. Uh, if you have a piece of wafer paper, just cut it to the size of your cake. This one's a little short, but I just cut it to show it as an example. Use a piece of wax paper to work on because the piping gel that you're going to use is extremely sticky and it's a mess and if it gets on your work surface it's going to mess you up. So you can either use piping gel, which you can get at cake supply stores, or corn syrup. And corn syrup works fine except it's just a little thicker. Piping gel is basically corn syrup with some other stuff in it. It's like water and some gums, but corn syrup will work. Put a lot of this on there and make sure that it's really covered. So you're going to cover the whole surface and especially the edges you want to make sure are really covered because the edges are where it's going to shrink and pull away from the cake if you don't have them covered enough. So you really just paint it on there. Since there is water in the piping gel it's going to make your wafer paper buckle a little bit and that's the one drawback that you just have to be careful not to get it too wet. So work a little quickly and um, you're basically just going to you know, make sure the whole back is covered like I said and then you're going to pick it up and put it right on the cake. And I've done a few different surfaces to work with to show the process. So you're going to pick this up and the piping gel makes the way for paper really kind of wet and wiggly. So just be careful to pick it up with both hands and you're going to put it right on the cake and then smooth it out. I'm not going to put it on because I'm going to show you what I did yesterday. I did this yesterday and like I said it has a few different surfaces that I worked with um, to see how it would work if I left it overnight. Okay, this is buttercream. This is a cake dummy, so it's styrofoam. And um, what we were talking about before is that sometimes when you put the wafer paper on, it's nice and flat, but then as the moisture starts to get into it, it'll bubble up and wrinkle. And I didn't find that happen on any of the surfaces that I worked with, but I did not refrigerate the cake. So never put these in the fridge because as soon as you put it in the fridge, the cake gets cold, you take it out of the fridge and the condensation starts coming out, gets into the paper, and that's probably what makes it bubble up. That would be my guess. I haven't put this in the fridge. Maybe I will, just to see what happens. Um, but this was a buttercream surface. Piping gel on the back, slapped it right on the buttercream, and it's fine today. It's about 24 hours later. This is a pattern that I did with some Christmas bulbs, and it's on fondant. This is white fondant. It just, you know, piping gel, put it right on. Nothing's going on with that. It is kind of bubbling a little bit, but if you put another piece on, make sure you overlap them. So there's at least like a half inch overlap because then the paper will grip to itself or grip to each other's um, on the edges and not kind of pull away. And it's interesting, you can kind of see right here, see there's a crack in the buttercream, and that's from where the paper shrinks a little bit after it's dry. It, it gets dried and it shrinks, so it kind of pulled the buttercream away. So make sure that when you're putting these on, you overlap the next piece onto this and don't just butt it right up against that piece. All right, so that's fondant. It's fine. But again, room temperature. Don't refrigerate these after they've been decorated. And I wouldn't decorate a cake with wafer paper straight from the fridge either just for the same reason because it's going to absorb the moisture that when the cake starts to get condensation on it as it warms up, um, that's going to get into the paper and kind of wrinkle it. This is modeling chocolate, and I did the same thing, piping gel, put it right on there, no problems. And for the one on the top here, I did corn syrup, because I wanted to see what the corn syrup would do. It just dries a little shinier, and you can see on the edges where the corn syrup, you can see the dried corn syrup. You know how when you have a bottle of corn syrup and it kind of drips out over on the outside of the bottle and it leaves the little shiny drips? Basically the same thing, but it worked just fine, so if you don't have piping gel, corn syrup will work. Just remember, room temperature, don't, can, don't put it in the fridge. And if you do have to put the cake in the fridge because the insides are perishable, if you have fillings that need to be refrigerated, I would maybe wait to decorate that tier until you take it out and let it warm up to room temperature, maybe right before you're going to de deliver the cake. And it really does not take any time at all to do this. So it's not like you're going to have to put aside three hours the day of the wedding or whatever to decorate the cake. If you can just you know, glue that on, have the surface ready. And I actually like the idea of modeling chocolate because it's very, of course the phone rings, I will ignore that. Um, it's very 
easy to kind of pull away from the icing. See, this is buttercream, poking it. Um, you can kind of pull this away and still have the icing underneath it. So with the modeling chocolate or the fondant, I like that because when you put piping gel on wafer paper, it gets stiff, and I really don't want to eat that. I don't know. I mean, it's it looks nice, but it's not going to enhance the flavor of your cake any. So, you know, just take that into account. You might want to just do this on fondant cakes, but like I said, it works fine on buttercream. It might actually be easier to cut and eat on buttercream because it's just right up against the icing, and it doesn't give you the extra chew of the modeling chocolate or the fondant. So anyway, I didn't have any trouble with the condensation and the bubbling, but like I said, room temperature, don't refrigerate, and that's probably the key.